Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to plot a simple pie chart in R. Now very often you might want to draw a pie chart to rep for as a data visualization exercise, particularly if you have a small amount of data to show. Many data visualization people feel that pie charts are not a useful way to represent data, but they can be useful in certain circumstances. And in this piece of code, we're going to learn how to draw a very simple version of a pie chart. So the data that I'm going to use to do this, let's take a look at it on line five in my codes area here. I've got a vector called grades and I've stored in this uh, five numbers, five, 22, 18, eight, and one. And I'm giving each of those grades, uh, the grades A, B, C, D, E, and F. So in other words, I will have five students who got an A, 22 students who got a B, 18 students got a C and so on. So let's load, uh, let's create those two vectors, the vector called grades, and then we're going to assign the names A, B, and C and so on to my grades vector using the names function. So run that. And now I am already in a position to draw a pie chart because the pie function uh, can draw a pie chart with this information. So PIE, open and close brackets, and the vector name is grades. So when I type that in, and then run, simply run that piece of code, we can see in the plot area that we've got a basic pie chart. Now it's very, very small here, so I'm going to zoom in on it. Uh, we can see our pie chart uh, with the uh, uh, A starting on the uh, two o'clock position over here on the right hand side and going around then in the order that I created them in the vector. So we can see here that the vast majority of my students got either grades B or grade C. So let me close down this zoom in. And let's say, assume now that we want to add a heading to this diagram and also to change the colors into something that might be more useful uh, for our data visualization. So open the uh, scripting area. I'm going to use the pi function again. Open and close brackets. Uh, grades is my vector, so it's the only vector I have in this piece of code. And I'm going to give the main title using the main equals parameter and in inverted commas, whatever I want my um, um, uh, chart title to appear. So I'm just going to put this down as student grades. You can choose your own title here to suit your own data. And then after the inverted commas, put in a comma. I'm going to press enter to move to the second line to give myself a piece of room here. And I'm just going to simply add in colors with the call equals to function. Now I've got five grades. So I'm going to need, um, I'm going to need the combined function using C and within that then to put in the uh, color for each grade. So I'm going to put in red first in inverted commas, then a comma, space. You don't need the space, but I'm putting it in for display here. I'm going to choose blue as the next color, then green, and then let's, case, let's go for pink. These are going to be um, in the same sequence that I put in my grades. And finally, that's one, two, three, four colors. And then I need, I'm going to use cyan as the last color. Okay, and that's it. I don't need to put in anything else here. So all that's going to do is going to put a title on my chart and change all the colors. These are the default colors that are appearing. So let's change those to red, blue, green, pink, and cyan. So run that. And we, you can see already, uh, let's zoom in on it just to get a better look. We can see that now our chart has got different colors that we may choose to represent uh, particular items on our chart. We've got a title to our chart and we, as before, we've got the uh, grade labels appearing here. Now that's a very, very simple version of that chart. Many people like to be able to do, you do a 3D version and have, if you like, a pizza slice, uh, one of the grades, um, um, uh, the grades being separated by, by pizza slices. So to do this, uh, let me just put in a comment here. So I'm going to do a 3D version. To do this, I'm going to need a, 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 a library package called plot, R-I-X, Plotrix. So a library, P-L-O-T-R-I-X. So to, to run this library here, if you haven't installed this package already, you can use it using the um, uh, packages install. So that, let's take a look at that packages. Click the install button and type in P-L-O-T-R-I-X. You'll see it pop up there. So if you haven't done it already, you can install it now. So I've installed it already, so let's run this piece of code. And my Plotrix package is now loaded into my R environment, and I can now use a new function called pi3d is the name of the function. Open and close brackets. So uh, as before, uh, I've only got one vector, so grades uh, is the vector name that I'm going to draw my power chart, chart of. And this time I, I, I need to put in the labels here 
so I'm, I'm going to say that the labels for my chart, this is a different function than the, than the pi function, don't forget. My labels is equal to uh, this piece up here, names grades that on the beginning of line six. So that, that's the names of my uh, elements in my vector. So just copy and paste that and insert it a little bit below. Uh, comma after that, I'm moving down to the next line. Again, you don't need to do this. I'm going to put in a main and put in a header on my on my chart and I'm going to go do a pi just, just to give it a different name than the previous one pie chart of grades and I also then need to let it know okay this is going to be um, like pizza slices so I want to know, know the parameters called explode I want to know how far I want to separate the the pizza slices on my pie chart so I'm going to use a parameter called explode and you can experiment with this with the values I'm just going to put in a small value here to explode them a small little piece explode equals to 0 0.1 so now just recheck that code. I'm using a new function called the pi3d, which comes from the Plotrix uh, package, which if you haven't installed, you will need to install it for this function to work. Um, I'm going to use again the grades vector um, for uh, the, the, the chart that I'm going to plot. And a little bit differently as the, than the pi, pi function up above, uh, the labels is equal to the names I've already assigned to the grades. I've given the chart a title of um, pie chart of grades, and then I'm using the explode parameter then to uh, measure the separation between the pizza slices. So let's run this. And again, you can see we've got a different type of chart here. I'm going to zoom in on it. And you can see now we've got, we've got a chart that is uh, a little bit more interesting to look at, a very, very colorful chart. We've got each of our elements separated out as pizza slices, if you like, and our labels still stuck on the edge. So that might be a, a nicer version for you to show, again, depending on what it is you want to show with your pie chart. If you have too many pizza slices, pie charts become very, very messy and you should consider other methods of visualizing your data. So that's how you draw a simple pie chart in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.